Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be creating a very simple yet really cool glitch effect in Premiere Pro. So before I say more, let's have a quick preview. So I was playing PUBG Mobile on my PC last night. Because reasons. And while I was playing, the law of gravity decided to pull me in and before I could unveil the truth, what lies below the surface of the earth, an unknown force pulled me back up. So here's my finished project, as you can see everything looks clean. I'm going to open up this other sequence to start fresh and here I have my PUBG clip in my timeline. You can use this glitch effect in different ways like for transitions and in a video clip. And lucky for you, I'm going to teach you both of them. Now I want the video to glitch up right before when my character gets sucked into the ground. I will go frame by frame and make a cut with the Rizzle tool when the glitch in the clip starts to happen. Make sure your snap is enabled so you can make a precise cut where your playhead is located. First we'll make some flickering. Now with my arrow keys I'm going to move back each frame randomly and make a cut. For example, move one frame, cut. Move two frames, cut. Move one frame, cut, etc. Depends on how much flicker you want, you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. I want this to be short so I'll go with just a few. After you have made your cuts, delete clips in between the cuts. You can hold down shift and select multiple clips and then hit delete here on your keyboard to delete them. If you end up with an empty cut, just make a new one next to it and then delete it. Now if you play this, we get random flickers. Nothing fancy yet. In your project panel, click the new layer icon and create a new black video layer. Drag and drop that into the timeline above the flicker clips. Make the same cuts with the Rizzle tool so the black layer is visible on the clip. And delete the blank spaces. Make sure you have effect control panel open. If it isn't, go to the windows and enable effect controls. Select the first black video layer. In the effects control panel, disable uniform scale. Do the same for the rest of the black layers as well so we don't have to do it again. I'm going to select the first black layer and randomly select a scale height. then change its position randomly as well. I'm going to duplicate this black layer by clicking and dragging this layer up while holding down ALT on my keyboard. I'll do the same thing again, change scale and position at random. I think a very thin line will look great. I'm gonna make another one, but thick this time. Damn boy, he's thick! Boy, that's a thick ass boy! Damn! But one thing you can do to make this look even better is change the blend mode for each of these lines. I found overlay and color burn seems to look nice. Another thing you can do is select the clip itself, disable uniform scale and distort it just a tight bit. A small change that will make a huge difference. Now you just have to do the same thing for the rest of the black layers and clips. Add different effects if you want to make the glitch more intense. I'll play you a nice jazz music while I go through the rest of these clips. Cue the jazz music, please.
Alright, now let's play it back and see how it looks. Looks great, but without sound effects, it doesn't feel right. So let's add in some glitchy sound effects and give it some life. Life, that's, that's very cliche. If you want to use the same sound effects that I'm using in this video, you can download this from the link in the description. Or if you want, you can use any glitch effect you have. Once you have it downloaded, import it into your timeline. If the sound clip is too small, just duplicate it and place it next to the first one. Click and drag while holding down Alt to duplicate it. Place it right below the cutted clips and make the same exact cuts. And now if you play it, it looks like an actual glitch. So that's how you do the in-between glitch effect. Now let's turn this into a transition. For transition you do the exact same thing, but right at the beginning of your next clip. Let me delete the rest of the clip and import another one. Now I'll play you a nice jazz music again while I do the same thing with it with the other clip. Can we cue the jazz music again please? Now just make sure there is a gap between the clips and you use the same exact sound effects or else it will look out of the place. And voila! That's how you make a simple yet effective and not bad looking glitch transition in Premiere Pro. So the question of the- okay, I only did this question of the day thing once and I forgot to do it ever again. I promise I'll do this consistently this time. So the question of the day is, if you could have the power to change one thing on YouTube, what would it be? Personally I'll get rid of Logan Paul. And that's it for this video, if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new here and check out more videos on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.